Hello and welcome to the Daily Digestion channel and in this video I'm going to talk to you about mold on wheatgrass. Um, so you decided to grow some wheatgrass or you bought some wheatgrass and you were watering it and it got mold on it. Well guys I just want to tell you I have been growing wheatgrass for years and years and I am pretty much what I would consider to be an expert on it. I have grown so many trays of wheatgrass, it's not even funny. But what I would like to say is it's not the end of the world if you get mold on it. I actually called Ann Wigmore's uh, Institute because every time I grew the wheatgrass, I would always get mold on it. Like it never fell. And they were like, it's okay. It's okay if you get a little bit of mold on the dirt because um, they said as long as it's not like on the br blades of grass and like if it's red you don't want to have red mold like I've done a lot of research on this um, but if it's the uh, just typical green moldy type it's a little green it's okay just cut your grass away from the mold as far away from the mold as you possibly can and uh, wash your grass really good um, under uh, w uh, cold water and what you want to do is hold the blades of gr gl grass with the um, the white tips down wherever you cut it you want to hold that down to where you where you're running the water it's like running on from the top of the blades of uh, the grass to the bottom of the blades of the grass. So that's what you want to do. And um, so the other thing that you want to do is um, when you're watering your grass, this is a surefire way to not get mold. You can put fans on your grass. Not only will this help with gnats, but it will also help with um, types of um, um, it will also help with types of um, gnats and it will also help with um, keeping it dry and uh, in a good environment where it's not you know where it's got air blowing on it all the time and another thing that you can do is water it. Like if you use the trays that I talk about, the restaurant trays if, that I talk about in my video and I show them to you, they're like little uh, brown trays. Like you can make in, when, in the edge of the trays, you can make like these little um, gullies like in the, the edge of the trays and you can just water them around the edge. If you have um, uh, holes in the bottom of your trays, you can just water them down uh, underneath the tray to where the water is being pulled up to, uh, to the grass from the very bottom of the dirt all the way up and that will help to not have mold. Um, another thing is when you start your grass, Make sure that your soil does not smell moldy. Sometimes you can get soil that's been in a bag, it's been in a warehouse and it's got mold in it, mold spores, and you go ahead and plant that and you're gonna get mold. It's almost impossible to not have mold um, in your wheatgrass. I mean, it's, it's really, really hard. I have done it, but there again, it, it's, it's kind of tricky and um, so, I, I mean, you got, I've had the fan, I've had the watering from the bottom up, uh, not over watering that, that's huge. If you allow drying times in between waterings, like if you water your grass and you let it get completely dry and not like keep watering it and watering it to where it's like staying like soggy wet all the time, more than, ch more, more, more I don't even know what I was trying to say chances are it's gonna get molded <laughs> I don't know 
But uh, that being said, guys, that's uh, that's the drill on the uh, wheatgrass. If you have any more questions, I hope that helps you out. Um, so yeah, that's it. Tips on growing wheatgrass. I hope you knew what the heck I was talking about. It would have been great if I had pictures to show you, but I'm not growing wheatgrass right now, which I'm I'm planning on starting some up because it's getting that time of the year, but I'm kind of waiting till it gets just a little bit colder and uh, and I'm a little bit more desperate. <laughs> so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any more questions, uh, leave them down below. Um, you know, and these are tips that I wish somebody had told me when I first started growing it. So if you enjoyed this video, and give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.